Hi friends, welcome back to Best Ready Study. In this video, we are going to see what is the 30 days plan in order to crack NEET. Okay, this specially applies for both NEET UG as well as NEET PG. So now let's begin this video without any delay. Okay, so when you have just 30 days, if you follow the guidelines and rules which I am going to tell you, if you if if the students follow the rules and the tips which i'm going to tell you in this video you can surely crack neat within just 30 days okay so now let's see what are those tips okay so first tip is keywords okay so first tip is keywords what are keywords see when you have to remember a sentence or when you have to remember a paragraph or when you have to remember something instead of by hearting or instead of remembering instead of trying to remember entire thing it's better only if you concentrate on the keywords okay so if once you remember the keywords you can you will be able to re recollect entire sentence or entire statement okay so see for example human has two not six bones okay this is one statement let's just take this as an example okay human has two not six bones and instead of remembering the entire statement just remember two not six bones okay so two not six bones is one of the keywords so like this instead of remembering the entire thing if you just remember the keywords you can recollect the statements or phrases very quickly okay so so the first tip is keywords Second important tip is images or diagrams. Whatever important diagrams will be in your syllabus, you must always make sure you remember them including the parts and names. Okay, so always never ever ignore diagrams they play very vital role in neat so make sure you give much much priority for for the diagrams okay diagrams are very very important third important thing is third important thing is at least go through last 10 to 15 years previous papers once you go through last 10 to 15 years previous papers you will understand what sort of questions are been asked and what kind of questions are repeating each and every year and there is also a probability and there are also chances where 30 to 40 percent of previous questions will be repeating every single year maybe not the same question but surely the similar kind of questions okay so never ever ignore that always make sure you always make sure you are very good with the keywords diagrams and you are going through at least last 10 to 15 years previous papers okay so next important thing is make perfect timetable okay so when you are just left with 30 days for your exam make sure you maintain a perfect timetable okay for example let's think this is the timetable first give priority to the subjects in which you are weak or in which weak subjects or the subjects which you are not confident okay so first give priority to weak subjects or the subjects which you are not confident with and then give priority to most important topics and then give importance to the 
diagram so like this you have to prepare your own perfect timetable if required and so next important tip is start early study what does this mean wake up at 4 in the morning and start studying difficult subjects or difficult topics okay because whenever you start early study or when you start studying early in the morning whatever you feel difficult even for studying those topics you will have very less time you will need very less time okay because your brain will be really fresh at that time and uh, the environment will be peaceful and calm so you can well concentrate on whatever you are studying whether it is hard or easy okay so always start your early study at 4 a.m by starting the difficult topics or difficult subjects okay so this is another tip and next important thing is after lunch okay so post lunch once you are done with your lunch for example uh, post lunch period uh, like let's think you had your lunch at 1 o'clock so from 1 30 to 3 30 like immediately after your post lunch, allocate two hours for just revision or for easy topics. Okay. See, after lunch, you will be feeling sleepy and you will not be able to concentrate on new topics so what you need to do is use this particular time like post lunch for two hours allocate only for the revision whatever you have studied since morning to lunch all those things just revise in this particular two hours okay or if you don't want to revise if you are sure that you already are very good with those topics which you have studied that day do one thing at least start studying easy topics okay because at this particular time you will feel drowsy you will feel sleepy so your brain won't be able to concentrate on uh, very hard topics and it will not be able to remember difficult things also okay so do this and you can use this particular two hours even for short notes okay so whatever you have studied the entire day from morning to afternoon make sure you write few of the important points or topics in a short notes and you can revise that short notes as well okay so this is one of the most important thing And next important thing is always concentrate on weightage. Okay. So, your okay, make sure you concentrate on weightage. For example, let's think there are two topics. This is one, uh, this is topic one, and this is topic two. Topic 1 is hard and topic 2 difficulty level is at the rate of moderate. It's not so easy and not so hard. But topic 2 is at moderate level. So now what you need to do and coming to the weightage of these both topics from hard topics you will be getting 12 marks from hard topic. From topic 1 hard topic you are getting 12 marks you have weightage of 12 marks and from the moderate topic you have 18 marks weightage so now what you need to do put the hard topic as second priority and start concentrating on moderate topic because moderate topic will take less time for studying and also it's having high weightage and it's going to give you 18 marks okay so like this you need to think and allocate equal time okay and now I am going to tell you the tips which will be useful during exam. First is 
first first thing is time management time management is very very important you have very limited time so start solving first with easy questions then with moderate level questions and then with difficult questions okay and second important thing is don't panic okay most of the students will be having nervousness if you have the nervousness you may even forget the things which you have already studied so don't ever panic okay so third important thing is check all the documents on previous day only check documents on previous day itself because at the last moment you can't sit and keep searching all the documents so previous day only is better if you uh, check and make all the documents readily okay so next is reach uh, exam hall at least before one hour okay because there may be traffic or there may be any uncomes um, unexpected circumstances so it's better if you reach your exam center at least before one hour and you will also have SOPs to be followed like um, they will be checking your uh, temperature and a lot more SOPs may be there so it's better if you reach at least before one hour or one and a half hour okay so for and last but not least before your exam day during these 30 days make sure you give mock tests okay mock tests is nothing is nothing but it's just like a, a practice for your uh, final and main exam you will understand how are you able to how well you're going to how well you are maintaining and managing your time and uh, where are you getting stuck and how is the procedure happening all these things you'll understand only by giving mock tests so in these 30 days at least make sure you give three to four mock tests it will be really helpful and last but not least guys just be confident you are going to crack this exam you are going to rock the exam just be confident stay pleasant stay calm and don't give up anything so easily you can do this remember you can do this so if you guys want a uh, a perfect timetable for NEET, UG or PG or if you want me to make any uh, other kind of motivational videos for NEET or any other exam do let me know in the comment section below and also don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel best way to study for more such wonderful videos subscribe and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss a video or update from our channel thanks for watching and i hope this video is helpful thanks for watching and all the very best to your exam